hello guys, welcome to Fishery Fish. So I'm just covering the microphone because it's pretty windy today. Um, doing a little bit of feeder fishing because uh, of the wind. The wind is just horrific. Uh, it's took a real turn for the cold as well. Um, I've already had, I've had four. It's been hard work though. So uh, I just thought I'd drop the camera on. Uh, gonna start filling up the weeks with lots and lots of videos. I've got so much stuff on on film and on film on on the on the cards on the SD cards. So uh, here we go. Let's uh, do a little bit of fishing. Then. Right, pretty simple, simple, simple tactics. Uh, it's a uh, an ICS. Hang on, an ICS pellet feeder but I'm using it more as a, a mini cage feeder really uh, with maggots and maggots and casters I've got some worms as well uh, and I've got, I've got pellets I'm gonna try I might try a few pellets later but uh, let's just put a couple of maggots on let's fill up the put a few maggots in the in the feed so literally as I say just using it as a just a, a really small feeder really but what it does being a pellet feeder because it's blocks at the one end it means that I've got pretty short hook, hook length which I'm not burying as I say I am treating it just like a little cage feeder my goodness it really has took a turn for the cold right um over by the tree there we are perfect that's the spot fishing in right don't move it tommy said don't move it i will tighten into it though in a second um as i said the mix is pretty straightforward there's uh, some few micro pellets in here. It's uh, swim stem green. Uh, there's some maggots and there's some casters. It's not riddled or anything like that. It is literally just thrown in, add a bit of water, and then as I'm sat here, I'm sort of manipulating it and fluffing it up. Sorry, I do apologise for the wind noise, by the way. Right, let's, uh, let's just tighten this right around again. I should say, just, I look quite like these little pellet feeders. I understand the principle behind them. That, like, obviously you fill them full of pellets, and the pellets push them out forward with your bait sort of disguised in the... Not disguised in the front, your bait in the front, so fish can come in. But, as I say, I quite like them as a little cage feeder as well. Doesn't seem to be any sort of indication on there at all. Which says and then he's in. Excuse me, mate, my boost. <laughs> Rest is nothing big. Uh, I think it's said a bit. Yeah. I got a little, uh, little tinker, Dad. Got a little tinker, little tench. Right, so that's that's cool. Let's have a look at this little fella. Slippery sliding, slippery sliding. Aren't they beautiful? Look at the colours in him. What a beautiful fish! Look at his eye. He's got his eye on me there. You're watching me, son. 
Let's have a look at his miserable face. Miserable face. Right, let's get him. Well, that's quite nice actually, because up till now I've had I've had car. Well, that's that's quite nice having that. Right. As I say, they these little pellet feeders, because they've got the stop at the back. I've only got a size 18 hook on. I don't think there's any monsters in here. I did think if we went into that slightly deeper water it's not a very big fish this I think it feels a bit breamy oh that ourselves a <laughs> look at him oh come here come on here we are Same as if you're, you're pole fishing. Let's get that bit of slime off. As I say, I do think there's a bit of a few brain floating about out there. Let's have a look at this stuff. Perfectly miniature look. Look at him. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Lap on the end of his tail head. I think there might be a small fish on. Yeah, there's a fish on. So, what we got? We got a little, a little skin there. You just had carp, Dad, or have you had? Have you just had carp or? There we go. Yeah, so my theory is working out. It's working out. Fresh bite. I'll tell you what, let's try a worm. Let's try a bit of a worm. Where are those buggers? Yeah. Try the head of a worm. Where's the bite? bit up because I don't want to confuse matters. Great stuff. Right guys, change your rig. Now you got medium ICS. Like an inline feeder. Medium cage feeder. Size 12 hook. We've up the size of the hook. So we're going in the margins. Right. Put some. This is the first, first put in. I've uh, checked the. Check the depth and I've put the stop on the line. So right, perfect. Right, so right, first put in, that's exactly where I wanted it, just in front of the peg. So 
so let's have a look the wind's dropping a little bit it's now 25 to 3 probably last hour As I say, although it is a little bit colder and everything, I think they're still coming in, still coming into the margins. And the wind's been blowing up this end of the, it's been blowing up this end of the, the lake all day. So I'm thinking there's fish in this little bay here, but so. I, a little, little skimmer, I think. Is it? Yeah, that's a skimmer. There he is. Yeah, I thought there'd be some fish turn up. There he is, guys. In a minute. Uh, I'd expect a point now every every cast, to be honest. So let's get stuck here. Daydreaming, yeah. Fish on. Let's have a look. What we've got here. Just that to look at carp. Feels like a. Oh, it's a carp. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, breaking the the pellet feeder rules, using it as a normal feeder. Um, thanks for watching. Fish with Bish. Uh, please hit the like, hit that subscribe. Loads, loads more coming now. A um, few explanations about where I've been and what's been happening. Uh, might even do a live next week. We'll wait and see. But uh, thanks for watching. See you real soon. Uh, me and Spartacus love the fact that you guys are watching the videos. So thanks very much and good boy.